Yo, 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 it's Quincy, aka SJ, back at it again with another video. You already know the vibes. And I asked y'all on my Instagram if y'all wanted a story time or if y'all wanted a QA. and a And everybody voted for a uh, story time. Maybe like four people voted for a QA. and a But um, Q&A will come later, but today it's a story time. So check. This story time is about my top three worst Tinder dates. So it's it's a, it's a big one. So stay tuned and wait for it. I'm not going in any specific type of order. I don't think any of them were worse than the other. They all were just bad. It was just not. It was just not the move. It was like I should have stayed home. I should have never been out. I just want to say this before I let this video go out. I don't mean to hurt any of your feelings if you're watching this, um, but y'all was on a different type of time than I was on, and I had to let the world know because I think y'all was nuts. The first one of the one of the girls I went out with, she um, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to say first. Uh, hi, right, bam. So this one girl, right? So I, no, this one's from Instagram, not even Tinder. I had to give this one from Instagram because this one, this girl was bugging, okay? Bugging. I don't know what the problem was, but she was bugging. And part of this is just my fault, even the reason why I even hung out with her. It's just a lot of my fault. I should have never done it. I should have seen all the red flags, but I was dumb and I was stupid and I was ready to go. So bam. So I had, before I go on a date, I usually text somebody, one of my friends be like, yo, if I text you this, you text me this, and you're gonna get me out of this situation, all right? That, that, that's if I'm already skeptical. If I feel like this is all right, then it's all right. My friends already know what's up at this point. So they already got the code names down. But this person, I was like, I'm a little skeptical, so I text my best friend like, yo, bro, if I say this, you gonna say this, and we out because I gotta go. So anyway, I met up with Shorty, right? I found her on Instagram. We was chatting a little bit. Um, I liked a couple of her pictures. Liked a couple of her pictures. And I was like, all right, cool. We're going to be chatting. We was back in the DMs. Gave her my number. We were texting, right? So in the middle of our texting, I'm trying to get to know her. So I'm like, yo, what do you like to do? Da -da 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 -da. And she's like, oh, I like to read books. I like to go to museums. Uh, 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 all this, this, that. I'm like, all right, cool. That sounds really good. Fine, but I, I specifically didn't ask her like what type of book she wanted, she liked to read or what type of museum she liked to go to or like what her favorite museums were. I didn't ask her any of that through text because I wanted us to have something to talk about um, while we were like out to eat or wherever we were going at the time. At the time, I haven't thought about where we were going, but we eventually we went out to eat. But um, I haven't, I didn't want to talk about that through text because like I said, I wanted to start a conversation through um, like our outing. So whatever. Uh, we had arranged to go meet up with each other and we went out to eat. It was something calm, we didn't want to do too much, but we ended up going to Buffalo Wild Wings. And um, so cool. So I hit her up, right? And we met up in the train station and here's where it goes bad. I'm looking for her in the train station and I'm just like, hmm. And I'm texting her like, yo, I'm here. Where you at? And she's like, oh, I'm standing right here. So I see somebody that's spinning around a couple of times because, like, I guess she couldn't find me. And I couldn't find her. Now, let me tell you why I couldn't find her. Because she looked nothing like her Instagram pictures, okay? She just, this was a whole different person. Well, not a whole different person, but she just looked totally different. And I was bugging out. I just couldn't figure out, like, why it was so different as she was walking i'm looking through her instagram and i'm like yo there's filters on every one of these pictures she either got the panda ears going on or she got the little stars flying around her head and i'm just like damn why didn't i figure this out before i made this date like why didn't i check this out why didn't i think about filters why like then i looked through all of these pictures i was 
going through all of this as she's walking towards me already. So now it's too late. So I'm like texting my friend like, bro, it's a problem. And then she's like, what you need you need you need me to call you already and i was just like no but listen it's bad i might need you to actually call me and then she's like okay just let me know bam cool cool but i'm nice right so i i met up with the girl uh I, we still went out to eat and i was just like all right let me just give it the benefit of the doubt she wasn't like terrible looking but she wasn't as good looking as i thought she was on instagram right but i gave her the benefit of the doubt because what, what can I do? So, we out. We out uh, eating. And I remember I asked her, I'm like, oh, so what's your favorite book? And she goes, uh, I don't know. I don't really like reading. So I'm like, But you told me you like reading. Like you told me, like you just like you like reading. Like what? Like you just told me that like a couple of days ago. You liked reading. You said you like books. What do you like to do? You like looking at them? Like do you not read the books? Like you just like the cover? Like you like the bag? Like what? Like you don't so now you don't read. Alright, bam. Better go. I said, okay, because I don't really like reading that much either, but if you don't like reading, fine, cool. Let it go. Two. I said, okay, so what type of museums you like going to? What's the last mu museum you visited? She goes, huh? I'm not really into museums like that. No, 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 no. She goes, um, she goes, I haven't been to a museum in a long time. I said, okay, so which one was the last one you went to? And she told me somewhere she went. And I was like, oh, okay, what other ones you went to? Mm, I never really been to me. I don't. I never been to many. So now I'm like, who, who am I out with right now? Like, who is this person for real? You don't even look like what you should look like. You don't even read. You don't like museums. You just told me all these lies. But no, <laughs> it gets better, guys. It gets way better. It gets a hundred times better. It gets. Woo! All right. So all that, she's a whole liar. Bam, boom, fine. I don't know how we started talking about this, but she goes, um, she was telling me how her cousin was on a date, like the same time as she was on a date. And I said, oh, cool, that's cool. Y'all both out on a date, you out on a date, she out on a date, oh, that's cool. So now you gotta have something to talk about when you get home. She goes, yeah, but I already know how it's gonna go. She's actually out with my ex right now. Huh? I'm like, girl, what? She like, yeah, um, I don't want to hold anybody back from anything. I'm never going to let my ex, uh, I'm not going to stop my ex from dating other people. I'm not going to stop my cousin just from dating somebody just because I dated them. And that's, that's just wrong. Excuse the fuck out of me because no. Are you dumb? No. 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 No, my cousin is not dating anyone I've ever dated. That's weird. Where's the loyalty? I understand the not trying to hold anybody at, hold anybody back. Like, don't do that. That's weird. I, I asked her like, so they don't know that like they have a mutual person in common, and she's like, no, they don't know anything. So I'm like, your ex don't know about your cousin. Your cousin don't know about your ex, and she's like, no. And I'm like. I was just ready. I was ready to go after that because this girl is nuts. Who is this person? Waiter, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with no aftermath. I ain't trying to have nobody roll up in here trying to look after you. You're going to look at me like I'm supposed to help you. <laughs> Who helping you? Me? Not me. You're bugging. I'm not doing none of that. Waiter, we got to go. Give me, the, give me the check. And after that, I was like, let's split this half. Split this down the middle because I'm not next so this next girl i met her on tinder um she was cool she seemed really cool cool vibe she had a pretty face uh hair was nice i'm like i really like people's hair like if your hair is nice and the hair is all done whatever she looked good 
I was like, cool, but I noticed she she was she was cool, right? So I I was we started a conversation, we started vibing on a little bit, just about like history and like just basic conversation, like things she likes to do. I was really vibing with she was really uh, into astrology. I'm not so much into astrology, but I'll take somebody to, if you want to explain and break down things to me, I'm going to listen because I think I, st I find it interesting. I'm just not completely into it. Got me? Cool. She was one of those. All right, so bet. We had a range of time to meet, um, but up until that point of us meeting, right, she was just kind of being a little off to me. Like, I noticed her wanting to start arguments about certain things that I just didn't understand why we needed to argue about. Um, just as far as like, I'm from, I'm from Harlem, right? She's from Brooklyn. Well, not even from Brooklyn. She just stayed in Brooklyn for some time because she was studying there. Like she was there for school or an internship or something. And she was just trying to vouch so much for Brooklyn and how much it, how it does so much more of this than Harlem. I'm never gonna, I'm never ever, ever gonna admit that Brooklyn is better than Harlem and that's what she was gonna that's she was, that's what she was trying to prove to me and I'm just like you're not even from here like what are you talking about how you, are you bugging bugging anyway so we made a, a time to meet and um but before we met and this would already had thrown me off she was kind of already saying like um basically she didn't see trans men as men and I was already turned off by that. So I was just like, what do you mean? And then she tried to justify her point. She tried to say that she don't, um, she don't date men. She identifies as a lesbian. And I was just like, oh, so why are you talking to me? Like, why are you fucking with me? Because I, what do you, like, I'm a, I'm a man. Like, how are you, how are you, you know? And then she's just like, well, no, it's different for you and different for trans men. And I'm just like, how? Like, at the end of the day, we're still men. How are you saying you're a lesbian and you're willing to talk to me? And because like, that doesn't make any sense to me. If you're a lesbian or you should talk to women. Basically, she was like, she wants to meet up. She wants to explain, blah, 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 blah. I just gave her the benefit of the doubt. Also had to be the work around where we were at, uh, where we were going to meet up at. So I was just like, all right, let me just pass some time with this person and I'm gonna just, you know, chill with them until it's time for me to go to work. Bam. Now, before we had met up, she was already telling me these stories that I was just like, it had to be red flags everywhere. But me, I'm kind of slow sometimes. So I just don't be paying attention to these red flags. So she was telling me how it was during Pride and she was saying how she uh, has stole a flag from around uh, the village with her friend but me i was just like oh that's not a problem because like it's there like they're there people are gonna take those flags that's kind of what that's kind of the point like you out there you're gonna take a flag so you can go to the parade with them right you want to have some type of pride and then you just do that that's natural that's not that's nothing so but that was a red flag so she goes uh so we meet up we meet up in barnes and nobles and we're talking and damn, I feel so bad for saying this, but you ever seen that episode of SpongeBob where Sponge? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you ever? This is so mean, and I'm so sorry. But you ever seen that episode of SpongeBob where Squidward eats all the Krabby Patties and it goes just all to his thighs? That's what this girl looked like. Like she just, she just like, she was, she was tall and like. like it was just a lot going on for me and I'm short y'all yeah, know I'm short so I'm just like and I'm trying to keep my composure I'm trying not to laugh because I'm just like because that's all I kept thinking about like yo Squidward slowed down on the Krabby Patties that's all I kept thinking about so I'm like shit how am I gonna get through this without laughing I let it go now mind you she has some stuff in her hand and she was um she was like, we were walking up the stairs. And I'm like, oh, what's that? She's like, something I stole from downstairs. Red flag number two. So I'm like, okay. Didn't like, bam, never, never, didn't, didn't think about it. Um, so now we're upstairs, we're talking, we're chatting. We, and like, 
we're getting to know each other and then she's like talking about her like uh sexuality and we're talking about family and i she clearing up the whole situation about trans men still didn't make sense to me i was ready to go after it and i already knew i was going you know was going to kick it with her after this so i was just like all right cool like if that's how you feel that's how you feel understandable but that's not how i'm swinging by and we can't kick it like that because that's not what it is so we sitting down talking and i'm telling her she asking me about my my jobs and things so i'm telling her like oh i got this job i work this job and i also do this so for those of you that probably don't know i have like i have an it job my nine to five and then on the weekends i bartend and i also started up this uh, mentorship that i never really talked about so i'm telling her these things and she's like why do you work so much and I'm just like, because I have an expensive lifestyle. I like to dress well. I like to smell good. These things are expensive. I got an apartment. I got to pay for these things. Like, I, like, nobody helps me. I have to do this all on my own. I have to work so I can maintain my life. Like, and I like to, I like to go out. I like to party. I like to drink. I like to eat. I'm that friend that when we go out, I'm buying all my friends shots. And then we're gonna eat like and then we're gonna eat like i'm that person i have to make sure everybody's good that's around me. you hang out with me you're good anyway i'm telling her these things right and she's like i just don't see how you can work so much blah 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 and you know i just it's just not something i would want to do all right cool working is not working is not for everybody she do she did she did have a job so i was just like all right cool maybe your one job is good enough for you but me no if i didn't work i would want to work you know what i'm saying so like i have to keep up i have to keep my jobs going so i'm like okay <laughs> okay whatever so now we up we're going to get coffee and like snacks or whatever so i'm we at the, at the line she going first and she rattling through her bag and she 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 can't come up with enough money for her snacks so I'm like, yo, you sure you want me to, I, I'll get it for you, you want it? And she's like, no, 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 it's nothing. I'm like, are you sure though? And she's like, no, no, no. And I'm like, okay, I only ask twice. I'll give people three chances. I only ask you twice and then that's it. So me, I'm buying my snacks. I am buying my coffee and I bought snacks for later because I'm a savage. So I had to eat, you know, I'm buying all my stuff. And then in my mind, I'm just like, this is why I work so much because I don't want to be up here rattling through my back bag to get money for coffee. Like I want to be able to afford everything I can. This is why you should work more because you're rattling right now. You're rattling. You're you're rattling right now. And uh, I just I couldn't do it. So I was just like, "All right, cool." He's questioning my work ethics and you can't even afford coffee. But okay. So that's red flag number three. Red flag number four, bam. I don't remember how we got into this conversation. I don't remember nothing that came before this, but all I remember her saying is, yeah, because I gotta get my money the best way I know how. And you know, I had to get it from this guy once. How you, what you do to get it from this guy? She's like, you know what I mean. To this day, I don't know what she mean because I didn't want to inquire because if Shorty committed a crime, I am not going to be a person of interest. Nobody's coming for me to ask me any questions. I am not taking up for you because I'm snitching. I'm telling. I'm telling. Why did you just told me? Like, I'm telling. I'm telling. I don't know nothing about you. I'm telling. Okay? I'm telling. But that was girl number two. Now this one. This one. <laughs> boy okay 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 because this one makes me mad she just really makes me mad and i'm sorry if you're watching this but you are on my tinder do not ever call again list okay so this one girl she seemed really cool she was really nice we was chatting through uh tinder for a while and then i got her number and then we were chatting through text for a while we started up a good good old conversation her listen her personality was cool um we had a lot of things in common she but i did see her getting attached too fast and red flag 
number one it was just a lot going on all right it was just it was just really weird and it was happening too fast but these are the red flags that i don't pay attention to and i just let it go so i'm like all right cool we decided on a day to meet up i met up with her somewhere out here in jersey one of my uh favorite restaurants out here so yeah we met up right so i'm on my way home from work she telling me she on her way blah 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 all right cool so we get here um she had parked her car or whatever looking for each other so she calls me i answer and i'm like oh hey yeah i see you and let me tell you why i seen her she was wearing the same exact outfit that she wore in her main tender picture and it was just so like that was that was her party outfit, y'all. That was I I knew that had to be her one outfit. She knew she was killing the shit, and and her body was nice. So I was just like, I'll give it to you, but <laughs> don't do that again. So we go inside the restaurant. It's a nice, calm restaurant. Not many people go there, which is why I like it. It was real quiet. Me and her was just chilling, cool. But she had some shit on her lip. Um, before like we even started eating and I was just like yo when you about to go meet up with somebody for the first time I don't know about y'all but me I'm in here I'm in the camera like making sure everything is good I'm checking my hairline I'm making sure everything is good I'm checking for boogers I'm checking in my teeth I'm checking everything so I'm like alright okay cool that's me though I guess she didn't do that and she had like shit on the side of her mouth so i'm like what like i don't know what it was but and i didn't say anything either because like later throughout the day she kind of just like did one of these and it kind of came off so i'm like all right cool so that that was that one but you know her breath just wasn't up to par either so i'm like oh, god damn what do i do we didn't even eat yet so i'm like oh my God, and this restaurant was heavy on the garlic and onions, so I'm just like, boy, we about to have a trip. So she text, she want to ask me, what'd you think when, when we first started talking? I looked at her straight up and I said, nothing, nothing. I felt nothing because I just was like, oh, this is another person to talk to. I, you know, maybe we'll see how where things go. And that's just my thought process. And here she go, yeah, me too. You're lying, you're lying. I know you're lying, stop it. Because you would have never asked that question if you didn't feel like it was some type of spark. But whatever, she asked me that and she got her, her, her feelings hurt. Her, her whole persona just switched up so quick. And I was just like, damn, but whatever, cool. We was just still there chilling, conversation. Now she goes and tells me, like we're getting to know each other, like, like starting a conversation when i say i'm getting to know you doesn't mean i like you i just want to get to know you because i'm sitting here in your presence you gotta have some type of conversation right so i'm just here like all right cool let me talk to this person she tells me a story how boy tell me oh my god she tells me a story how um when she was younger her mom didn't let her hang out with um her older friends and mind you she's she was a little bit younger than me um but not too much she was younger than me she with her family is very strict so she couldn't really go out often and go out as much she was an adult child basically and she couldn't really do much of anything so i was like oh yeah like my family my mom is, was the same way she didn't let me really hang out with a lot of my older friends either like my mom didn't let me hang out with any of my friends let's talk about that we'll talk about that later my mom was really strict top five and I, you know, I was like, oh yeah, I can relate. Like, well, how old were your friends? And she says, 60. So I'm like, 16? Dang, how old were you? She's like, no, I was 13 and they were 60. You mean 60? Like six zero? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, you were 13? And you were hanging out with 60 year olds? And she was like, yeah, I had a couple of friends. I said, where they was at, like nursing houses? She was like, no, I would go to their houses and I would just chill with them. And I said, willingly? 
Like you just willingly went to their houses to chill with them. You would meet them like, and you had multiple. It wasn't just like one and two couple. You had multiple. And she was like, yeah, I just really like hanging out with them, their wisdom and da da da. I can understand that because like old people be having like, crazy stories. But I wasn't just calling them my friends. I wasn't just gonna hang out with them. But Shorty was dead serious when she said my friends. Like these were her friends, okay? These were her her friends. So her mom made her stop hanging out with them and she was mad and she was upset, devastated, bam. And I was like, oh, red flag number two. I was just like, all right, I called the waiter, <laughs> got that bill. But then she was like, wait, let's just finish talking. Let's talk more, da, da, da. And I'm like, I need a drink. So I got another beer and we was just chatting. And then eventually we went home. Now, during this week, before we were supposed to hang out, she had told me how she had a flat tire, right? But I never got any uh, updates about this flat tire throughout the week. Because I... I didn't care. So, she, when she came, when we finished eating, I walked her to her car. I said, alright, have a good night. And she was like, you see my baby? Talking about her car. And I was just like... I'm not a real big car person, but this car was not fire. And I was just like, yeah, <laughs> I see it. And she's like, but I'm now I'm looking at her tire. And the tire was noticeably low pressure. <laughs> and I'm just like, you ain't get your tire fixed, girl. And she's like, no. I'm saying you drove here with your tire like that. And she's like, yeah, I just been putting air in it and then going about my day. So what you trying to tell me is, <laughs> you're running on a flat <laughs> and you just riding around. You came to see me with a flat tire and now you have to drive about 45 minutes back home with the flat tire. Okay, talking, talking about it like it's normal. I'm like, all right, cool. She's like, you want me to drive you home? I said, no home, <laughs> no sweetheart. I live around the corner. I'm going to go home. And I just, I don't, one, I didn't want her to know where I live. Two, I dead ass lived around the corner. Like, I just didn't want her to know where I lived. Like, I just wanted to walk home. Like, you go your way, I go mine. And I'm not getting in that car with no flat tire. You're bugging. So, anyway, she, uh, she, I say, I say my goodbyes. She all like, you gonna text me when you get home? I said, no, I live around the corner. You're driving. I don't do those things. I'm not, I saw the commercials. I'm not doing that. You text me when you get home. You get home. She texts me and no, 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 no. She didn't even get home yet. She texts me and she goes, I just paid a New York toll. Mind you, both of us live in Jersey. She goes, I just paid a New York toll. And I'm like, how did you pay a New York toll if you live in Jersey? Where are you going? And she's like, I don't know. And I said, you don't have your GPS on? You didn't know where you were going? She's like, well, I just thought I'd follow the signs. I said, okay, so if you followed the signs, why didn't you follow it to where you live? And she goes, well, at one point, I thought they were deceiving me, so I went the other way. You telling me that you thought the signs were deceiving you? You thought that maybe the signs was trying to put you in the wrong direction? You thought that somebody went up there and fixed the signs? And so you couldn't get home? You thought, you're bugging. I said, oh, oh, this one's crazy. <laughs> this one, this one's crazy. I'm really done. This is it. That one is good. I stopped replying. That was the end of my conversation for the night. I didn't care how Shorty got home, but um, I know she did because she texted me, but I was just like, you know what? This is it, I'm done. There's always something wrong with these Tinder girls. What is the, what is the, y'all got a lot going on. I feel like it's very, very rare to find someone like me or like someone like the people that I know that are on Tinder. It's so hard to do that because all of the other ones, they all got something wrong with them, bro. And it's like, I don't know where to begin. Flat Tire tried to sneak her way back in a couple of weeks after that, but I said, no, no, no. You played yourself and that was just end of that but yeah y'all so that's just my top three worst tender dates uh go ahead and give this video a like 
go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit the notification button hit the share button tell somebody to tell somebody comment down below about any of your bad dates or if you know anybody that had a bad date if you feel any type of sympathy for me and my bad dates go ahead and make those in the comments and let's vibe out together i can't wait to continue to tell you more story time i do have another q a coming up and i do have another binder giving away coming up so stay tuned for all of those things and uh let's do this